So let's look first at oblique incidence, where the incident ray is oriented so that the electric field is perfectly tangential to the boundary. Again, we'll apply the boundary conditions, using trigonometry to define the k-vectors for each wave, and also to break out the tangential components of the magnetic field in each wave. These formulas can be combined to give the reflection and transmission coefficients for the oblique incidence tangential E case, as shown here. The third case is oblique incidence where the magnetic field is oriented perfectly tangential to the boundary, and it will follow exactly the same process as the previous case. In this case, we write the boundary conditions using trigonometry to break out the tangential components of the electric field. These formulas combine to give the reflection and transmission coefficients for the oblique incidence tangential H case shown here.